Hello there and welcome to your ninth tutorial on QML programming. I am Joseph and uh, let's just get started here. In this one we're going to be talking about uh, properties. As you can see we have a button here. We go inside of it and uh, it does a couple things and it is button and when we click it it says mouse area clicked underneath it. Okay, <clears throat> so the first thing that we need to do is we're going to encompass everything that's in blue rack Remember, we have the one there for the last, for the root tangle there. And we're going to put it in a new file. So if we go over here, and we right click on it, and we say add new, or just press control N, QT and QML file, QT quick 2, because that's what we're using. And we're going to name this my button. Okay? Notice how the M in my is capitalized. Press next none, no version control, and press finish. Okay, we don't need this right here, so let's get rid of it, and let's add an item. Now, let's go back over to text.qml, our main page, and let's copy all of this that we have from over here. Now let's go over to my button, and inside of my button, let's add that code. So now we have a button here, okay? If we actually go back over to our text.qml, and we just add in, oops, sorry, my button, and run this, see there's our button. Okay, so that's our first step. But what if we wanna have, uh, different properties for it and so on and so forth. As you can remember properties are the things that are inside of the element like this we have an ID and width and so on and so forth. Um, so let's do that. Let's go over to my button here and let's say property well actually first let's give it an ID. ID and we're gonna call it button and we're gonna say property we're gonna say string I'm going to say background color, and it doesn't need a value, and we're going to do it again. We're going to say property string, and we'll call this one border color, and we'll say property int, say border width okay and okay so for our width and our height we just want to make this okay we're gonna actually come back to that okay but for the color we now have something called back color so we have to assign that okay so we say button dot back color okay so it points to whatever this string is set up as, and we can set that up as our element in our other page, right? So that one's done. Let's take a look at border color right here. We have to go down to our border color, and we say, if you guessed it, button dot border color. Okay, border width, same deal, button dot border width. Okay, and those are the three things that we have. Let's do radius property int radius button dot radius okay uh, anchor center in let's take that out let's set the width to be out and out on the height too let's actually do this let's actually take this and copy all of this right here, the height and the width, if it lets me. Copy all that, comment it out, go back over to text right here. Inside of your button, let's just make it right there, like that, okay? Now what we can do is we can go back over to my button and underneath the height, just uncomment that, we'll just say parent.height. Underneath the width, we'll just say parent dot width. Okay, so we're, we're we're assigning these things. Okay, 
Um, let's go to radius. Okay, so so our rectangle is now done. Okay, so if we go back over to text right here, and let's start putting these in. Let's say border color green. Whoops. Let's try that again. Border color green. Back color blue. Border width far. Border color. We already did that. Okay. Do we have any more left over? We've got radius. Radius, and we'll put that at 20. So let's save and run this. And look at that. There is our uh, our button. And we can uh, take it and anchor center in. Root angle. And we're back to our button that we had before. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back over to my button and we're going to look down at our text right here. So let's see, we're going to want to have custom text, custom color. So let's go right here and we'll say property string text property int And this one's going to be called font size. Go back down here. Our color. We'll, well, we'll do that one later here. Let's just keep that at white for now. Our text is now going to be button dot text. Our font size. We're going to save that for later. Our font size is now going to be button dot font size. And we might as well change this one while we're down here because we're going to be coming back to it. And we'll say button dot text color. So that's what we're going to call this next property. Property string, text color. Now let's go add these. Text my custom button. Text color. And we'll make it black. Font size, and remember we said, oh, let's save that for later. So if we go back over here, and there we go. Now let's save and run this. And as you can see now, my custom button. It's called font colors right, math's right, everything's right. Well, we learned quite a bit about properties <coughs> and how to assign them. Uh, in the next, we will be looking at our, uh, in the next thing, we'll actually be looking at our mouse area and how we can send signals to it and so on and so forth. Um, this is Joseph. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Have a good one.